The Pancho Brothers Show, baby. You know what it is, man. We live and direct right now, man. Yes, sir. We got a very special guest tonight. Special guest. He's in the building. The ladies, man. <laughs> Hold on. You. There we go. There you go. What up, man? Tell her your name. They know you. P. Crack in the building, man. What's up, man? It's a good situation. What's up, brother, man? I'm good, man. I'm sitting here. I'm trying. I'm. I'm only. I can't multitask. You do it two at Yeah, time. I gotta chill. I can't. I can't tweet this. I gotta talk. I can't do both. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm blow the tweet. <laughs> That's what. What's it is, happening? Bro. What's the deal, though, man? What's been going on, though? Um, first and foremost, what's is that a camera, on? yo? That's 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 for the radio station. This is this is that joint gonna be on World Star, man. No, it's not. Nah, we ain't going we ain't going on World Star. Yo, I thought we had an agreement. <laughs> nah. Yo, it's two cameras. Hey, yo, man, you, you gotta put one of them out. Put one of them. Yo, down. y'all trick me, man. Yo, this the thing, man. These days, check this out. It ain't. I know it's business. Like cameras could be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? That's why I stay out of them Jones when we not. When when things ain't premeditated, you know what I mean? You gotta premeditate things. Cause people will catch you on camera, dog. You gotta watch these cameras, man. You ain't gonna ain't no telling what happened in here tonight. You yeah. know what I mean? Somebody looking for something to happen. Word. Yeah, yeah. But you know, at the end of the day, this is this is this is the FM Radio's own interview, and this with you. So you know, at the end of the day, wherever you want it to go, that's where it's gonna go. Right, no doubt. You know what I'm saying? So you know, at the end of the day, you'll get it first. You'll see it first before anybody else sees it. Right. And you know what I'm saying? It's for for YouTube and DJAlamo.com and DJSmoke.com use. Right. Not but they gonna, once you put it out, though, ain't no stopping it. <laughs> they gonna put a little blur over your logo and right. rock they John on top of that. Great, hey, hey, you already know how they gonna do it. Great. Well, you know how that they is. They gonna crop your logo out. Now it's world star exclusive. Oh man, well, what's up? What's up? I baby? mean, the whole thing is, you know, what's been going on with you? What, what you've been doing, and uh, you know, fill us in. Um, honestly, man, I've been working hard on this um, crack file five. Not really trying to rush it. It's a uh, it's part five of a mixtape I've been doing with my man DJ Ant Live and DJ Active. I've been doing this over for like ten years. We put we put one out like every two years since I got signed, which was like ten years ago when I signed the Def Jam, and we had the fifth one. So it's like every two years, a little a little over every two years, we putting this joint out. So uh, we on part five, man. And this one this one is more like an album. It's not too much like a mixtape. It got more of an album feel to it. That's what's taking this one so long. I talk to people on Instagram and on Twitter, and they like, damn, crack, just drop it. Because we're supposed to drop it on New Year's. Supposed to drop it, man, other days before. But I keep pushing it back, and they like, damn, it's just a mixtape. But it's not just a mixtape. It's easy as hell for me to just put a mixtape together. Just murder other niggas' beats. But this is more original beats, more album feel. Three verses on a song, you know what I mean, hook. Quality over quantity. That's work. Yeah, quality right. over right. quantity, man. Right. So, so how do you feel about now with the game, with the with the whole mixtape scene? Like, you know, certain people's not using DJs and are using DJs now. How do you feel about that? I mean, I I grew up in that era where the when the mixtapes hit the scene, it was so new and fresh to us, and it was so organic and real. Now it's just generic as hell. You just gotta take it how it is, man. I'm not happy with it. But the way how things looking for hip hop overall, that is obvious that things is nothing's going to happen the way how you accustomed to it happening back in the day when it was golden. Anyway, it's changed. You know what I'm saying? It's changed. Sometimes it changed for the better. Sometimes it changed for the worse. I think rappers are making more money. I mean, it's, it, it's ways to make more money than back in the day. So that's a good thing. At least rappers are being compensated more due to the, you know what I mean? Like the labels ain't really ain't able to really take your money no more there's more independent action going on so that's a good change opposed to the the bullshit change you can cuss on here yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah opposed so, to the bullshit so you take the good with the bad i mean mixtape mixtape whatever <clears throat> they throwaways now ain't nobody selling them you just promote your shit promote your shit that you try and sell you know what i mean all right so you know being as though that you've been in the game 10 years and 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 you see what it is now with the new up and coming rappers and the things that's coming in. Like, what do you think that they're doing wrong? Or what's or, your comments on it? Yeah, basically, at the end of the day. Yo, you know what, man? <clears throat> These days, 
it's so wide it's so wide open for uh for artists to beat them like you see how we got these weird ass rappers that you would have never seen back in the day right so it's wide open i mean it's really no rules no more i mean to each his own these days man really i'm kind of okay at first i didn't like that because i'm used to you know what i mean we used to them good old days mob deep raekwon the chef all of that good stuff but now it's just changed man it's wide open man it's just it's a free world out here in hip-hop so you think it's a good thing now with the internet the way it is right now for you to just get your music out there or does, is it hurting you more uh nah it's great man it's great i mean they steal your music but i mean you wasn't making no mu- no money off record sales anyway in the beginning so there's a big opportunity for you to touch a more mass amount of people and go do them shows where you know you're gonna make your money at yes. tax free all right so Ow. then i guess that goes into my next question when it comes into the fact of when 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 when, when your, your record is being played or your record is out you know what I'm saying? How do you really, really get paid off of them residuals for some that don't know? Like after, say, after ten years, and your record is still being played, are you still getting a check from that? Yeah. Or is it? You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's all depending on what type of deal you did in the beginning, what kind of splits you did for that song. You know what I mean? When you do the song, you know automatically the the, the um the producer gets fifty percent of the song from the rip. So it's all left up to the vocal artist. The other fifty is left up to the, for them to split. So you gotta do splits with them and make an agreement and sign it. So it's all like say whatever I split with Freeway on flip side back then, that's all I'm gonna get. I got twenty five percent of the song. He get the other twenty five. Just Blaze get fifty. I got all I own all my publishing. So I'm always gonna receive that twenty five percent for the rest of my life until I sell my pub or some shit, which is not gonna happen. Right, Man, that's that's gonna be that's gonna be cashing out forever. That's I mean, that's interesting because no, you you get to receive it it's all the way for the rest of your life until you die plus seventy years. You can sign it over to somebody; cause they can receive it like your kids. Wow. So th- those are, those are certain <laughs> ways for certain artists that are listening. Those are certain ways that you definitely you you can get paid for for your record and and, and you have to be registered. That's one. Yeah, thing. you got to register with a publishing company and get up with BMI or ASCAP and they'll go collect your money for you. You know what I'm saying? Write and this, uh, write this down, man. Write this. If you out there, a lot of rappers listening, write this down because you know. Yeah, no, nah, they a lot of people don't got uh didn't get a publishing company and didn't do that but i had to because my the lawyer that i had got when i first signed with def jam he was so strict he don't cut no corners or nothing he won't even allow you and he won't indulge in any type of sneaky stuff like if you're trying to do some tax evasion shit or something he's just totally back out of it he's just straight up dude <laughs> so he made sure i got the pub situated and all of that stuff so thank god for bernie resnick shout out to burn all right get your lawyer situations together so you know um I guess the next question would be, well, you know, you, you, you have this situation right now where you, you're doing a rock reunion and um, <clears throat> what, ha- what what brought y'all back together to do that situation? Uh, Honestly, I don't know what really sparked it because I wasn't a part of it in the beginning, in the very, very beginning. It was uh, Tierra Marie, um, Young Guns, Freeway and Memphis Bleak. And um, the girl Tatiana uh, Taylor, Tiana Taylor, my bad, Tiana Taylor, she was like doing little openings and everything on certain dates. And I wasn't affiliated. I seen it just like how you seen it looking on Twitter. I was like, oh, word. All right. I didn't. Nobody contacted me. So I'm just taking it on the chin like because of the situation with me and Jay. You know what I mean? That that's due to that situation with me and Jay that didn't work out. That's why I'm not involved. But then I got a call from some kid named Shabazz from Philly. He's like a manager. He managed Oskin on Sparks. And he contacted me and was like, yo, Crack, um, how you feel about it? Would you mind coming out to do um, a couple shows with us? I'm like, of course. I didn't think that I was welcome to come because of the situation. And he like, nah, I talked to Bleak. And Bleak said he'd be more than happy for you to come. So we just from there, I just I went to the um the the rehearsals. And we just been rocking since then. So you got any more dates on that? Yeah, they working on a couple of days. I don't know what the what the um the hold up is really because we had uh Chicago and Miami locked in. I'm not sure what's going on to be honest with you, yo. Oh yeah, and that Houston thing with the All Star game that's supposed to be coming up. I don't know. I'm just waiting, honestly. Right. You know what I mean? But I'm not like waiting on the edge of my seat. It's like if they call me, then cool. If not, I'm back here about to drop the CS5 and drop these videos. All right. So let's talk about that. You know what I'm saying? You got the new mixtape 
album, which is crazy. Album. Yeah, street album, which is super shout crazy. Out, shout to DJ and live. Shout out DJ saying? active. And active. What and, up, shout, and shout out. I can't say in detail all of the names of all of the um, producers, but I got a mass amount of producers on there. I got like there's like 15 songs on there. I gotta have about like like. 11 12 different producers on there all um and the, all new dudes like and, and that's another thing like how do you feel about that with with, with the beats now like it, it, can you still reach out to some of the mass producers you used to reach out to or now is it just you know you get in where you fit in i'm sure i i can i'm sure it would be a little hassle you know what i'm saying but i could grab a swiss you know what i'm saying i could get a conversation with swiss and explain to him i need this joint whatever but i don't want to do that because i all my life i've always met producers that was unknown that was just as crazy hot as these big producers they just ain't got no name but i all my life i just always my mind been blown by a producer like oh where the fuck you like why is you just right here in the hood right. and he's crazy you know what i mean so i always took a chance with producers and i got an air for them beats you know what i'm saying true, true i mean you send some joints in i mean you know like i the- pick all the beats too you said one joint in that 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 that, that, that blew me blew my head. You know what I mean? So I want I want to hear that Red Man joint. I picked that beat. <laughs> that joint that joint Yo, is different. Hey, shout out to Red Man too, man. Red did that joint for me, dog. I didn't know he was getting like eighty thousand for like walkthroughs and shit like that. Wow. I never knew that. How the much? They get like eighty thousand. Red Man gets eighty. Wow, that might be overseas or some shit. It, it don't matter. <laughs> Yo, but for features and shit like that, shit. his shit is up there for features. Damn. And my man, shout to DJ Ian. I gave the record to Ian, and Ian tight with Red Man. Ian shot it to him. He was like, "Yo, crack! I love this record. Red Man is sound dope on it. I'm gonna try to get him on it." I said, "Go ahead. If you could do it, do it." So he shot it to him, and he hit me. He was like, "Yo, I gave it to Red. He said he right into it." I'm like, "Bet." Excuse me. So I go to Brooklyn to go do this Biggie tribute with um C's, and I run into Red Man at the tribute, and he hype. He like, oh shit, like I just finished my verse. I'm like, word, that's what's <laughs> up. He like, yeah, I finished the verse. I'm gonna put the hook on it and everything. Give me your number, and he hit me like a week later. I totally, I was geeked up, but I was just waiting for the record, and I get a text. I never had his number. I didn't lock his number in. I get a text, and it's like, yo, what up? It's Red. And I know like five different niggas named Red. Red. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, Red who? And he put like, is he put is Red Man fool? And it was F O O O O O O O O O O L like fool. And that, I thought that was funny as shit. So w- w- what is it like for for a person like Red Man to reach back out to you or to jump on a record for you if if that's something like if your first feature from him or something like that? Um, I mean. I've dealt with, I've worked with a lot of um, legends, you know what I'm saying? But still to this day, it never gets like boring or nothing. It's still amazing to me to, to even be sitting talking to Red Man, let alone be on the track. He did the whole track for me too. Right. All I sent was my verse. He did the hook. Yeah, I heard that. In, heard the, in the verse and completed the song, ended it, mixed it, everything. Well, let's get into for it. free. Let's get let's, into that song. Good, good. Go you right. know what I mean? Introduce it real quick, brother, man. <laughs> Hey yo, this the joint, this the shit off that new CF5, Crack 5 5, the cocaine edition. This the shit featuring Red Man. Shout out to Reggie Noble, shout out DJ Ian. It's P Crack, CF5. Look at my whip, so look at my whip, look look at my whip, so look at my whip, look look at my whip, so look at my whip, look look at my whip, so look at my whip, look look at my whip, so look at my whip, look look at my whip, so look at my whip, look 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 at my whip, so that broly, check that broly, it's time to party, drinking Bowie, I love that Moe, fuck that Bacardi, try and kill me, them shots to kill you, just like a shotty. Edie, why you always being shotty? I don't see nobody, I'm stunting, my mom stunting, my son. Stuntin' on you bitches and bitch niggas Keep on frontin', I love it That shit funny, and when it gets sunny There's the shit for that whip and just whip Miami, it's hot and sandy We in Miami, wet willies A nigga shitty, call it cabby I'm Call crazy. me up right now, 215-279-7617 The FM Radio.com Telly, them bitches callin' Skip the telly, hit the bitches We ride on callus Bunch of niggas try and holler That's 650 Right you want to talk to Pity Crack right now? Call in 215-279-7607 The FM Radio, so baby Look at my whip so fly and cool 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 Look at my 
whip so fly and cool. The rhythm yeah. on my car got me wet. Uh. Granddaddy purple up in the doobie hoopy obby I got some hotties making no movie and he thinking these niggas paying But I ain't got no money should I rob somebody with this gun on my tummy bitch I'm kidding I'm only sticking women punani BBD Bad boy I'm dirty Mike Rick and Ronnie when I whip it I'm looking different Fuck everybody like <laughs> Yo I got my bitches yeah they my bitches I'm out in Cali in the valley with 26s on that Denali House of Blues Comedy Club Look at your man I'll be rolling the dub while you be in the fan Yeah I'm hungry I need that Money. They say I'm greedy, so I'm flying out to Miami to go meet Petey. And he said, Yo, nigga, ran, pop in the CD like the Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Look at my whip, so fly and cool. You wanna catch up, boy? Tie your shoes. My car right here, what you driving, dude? Yo, look at my whip, so fly and cool. The rims of my car got me riding smooth. The bitches in the car, like, drive it.